It's funny with career milestone things because there'll be something that you're like, that would be so cool to achieve or to have or to do. But then when you get there, you're just like, whatever, onto the next thing. It's not even like you even really have a moment to stop. It's just, you always want to go on to the next thing. I did actually have a moment a few months ago. I was like, I live in LA, getting gold records and platinum records and stuff like that. It's really cool. I was driving down to my studio. I was listening to Rage Against the Machine and I was like, 15 year old me would be so stoked right now with this. Like, this is awesome. I grew up in Melbourne. Then, when I was 12, we moved to Sydney, and I used that move as an excuse to get my parents to give me guitar lessons and that's when I started playing guitar. I was in rock bands with friends in high school and then also in the school jazz band. Then one of my family friends had this band and their lead guitarist was like going to New Zealand. So I got kind of got recruited into this band and they like kind of had like a tiny bit of a profile and were like doing like gigs at like pubs and stuff in the city. The lead singer's big brother like kind of ran this nightclub called Candy's apartment and they were doing really cool lineups. It would be like parties with like Van Shee, like Ajax and Bang Gang, Bag Raiders, Cut Copy DJs. And we weren't a cool band, but we would just get on because the big brother. I didn't know anything about making music, but I would just thought I'd give it a, I'd just start. And I remember I had like, I think I downloaded Audacity and I had this really shitty mic from like my parents' desktop computer and I put it inside my, one of my acoustic guitars and there was this song by the Bag Raiders I love called Fun Punch. And I just kind of like played it on guitar. I had this like kind of really interesting synth riff, but I played it on guitar and then like played the lead and played the chords and like kind of like layered it up and I was like, yeah, this is dope. And I put it on MySpace at the time. And then somehow like Bag Raiders heard it and Bang Gang heard it as well. Bag Raiders put me as their like number one friend on MySpace, which was, I was like, sick, I'm in, like, cool, let's sign the deal right now. <laughs> but I just kind of kept working and I was in touch with them and I got Ableton. I had literally like no idea. I didn't know anything, it was so, it's been such a weird learning process over the years. So it got to a point where they were like, Bang Gang were like, cool, we want to like sign you and release some records. So I think that took about three years. But by the end, it's all color coded and you can like fold the whole thing down and it's like all super neat and tidy. And it looks very nice. Like a finished session, it's like a finished painting where you can like <laughs> open it up and show people and it's like, or like show the artists or whatever and it all looks very nice. I've got heaps of songs now and I have a bunch of tracks too. <laughs> I'm like, there's like 15, 20 ideas here that I like. Maybe the best way to do this is an album because I've been touring with Rufus so much the last few years and they've been hearing it all. And I'm not sure if they'd always had the idea or how long they had the idea to do a label. But um, we went to the shrine to see Cut Copy as kind of like a research trip to see because the guys were thinking about doing a show there. Right Cut Copy and Danny, the manager, kind of pulled me aside and was like, all those songs you've been working on, what do you think about releasing them on our label? It's been really, really cool to see Cassian grow in every way possible. He's really like stepped into this purpose and into these big boots that he really wants to fill and uh, he's doing everything in his control to do that. With this new record he's working on, you can see that already, how much he hasn't settled for anything. He's worked on it for a long time and it's been like, uh, it's so cool to see it over the course of the last two years unfold and take shape. And also his live show. I guess he was DJing on a lot of our other tours and this tour that we're doing at the moment is the first time that he's kind of doing it all live and it's really cool to see him on stage playing guitar. Doing live performances, it's really exciting for future and even just looking ahead to like build out the show already I'm like I want to add another synth and I want this and I need like this delay pedal and I need this reverb and blah, blah, blah. I just want to keep it to where it's getting more and more complicated to where it's about to fail the whole time <laughs> that's how it'll stay exciting for me I think <laughs>